right, let's go over the results of our problem here from example 7.1. So we have the Pelican store, and the first part is descriptive statistics on net sales and by various classifications of customers. Now, we can sit here and do our five-number summary because that will give us a lot of information for our quartiles and whatnot. But right now, let's just focus on net sales in the whole. We're going to use the pivot tables for putting this data together. So if you go through here, and once again, I'm assuming most of you already did this in class. Insert, pivot table. There's our pivot table. We're going to stick it on a new worksheet. There we go. Now, I do want to look at net sales. And I do want to look at the, the various breakdowns of everything. Before I do that, so the sum of net sales, so over these 100 transactions, we have a sum of $7,760 of sales. And if we like break it up by gender demographic, we can see, okay, well, 7,300 of those net sales came from females, $395 came from males. Now, this is looking at the sum of all the net sales, which is fine. Sometimes you just want to see who's spending the most amount of money because even if it's a more transactions than everybody else, that's your core market. You want to make them happy to get getting paid. You can also look at something like the average of the median to kind of get an idea of what the average person pays. Maybe there's, um, there's a demographic that might make more money. And so what we're going to do is we'll switch this. I'm going to go here and we're just going to switch our summarized values and I want to average it. So we can see there, and I'm also going to change, oops, I'm going to change the formatting on this. We're just going to go right to accounting. So the average of net sales for females, they spend $79.19, which is slightly higher than our typical customer. And then males spend $56.49, which is a lot lower than our typical customer. And we can keep slicing this up even more. Uh, we can add in marital status. And once again, I will just go and we'll just change this to accounting. So if we break it down even further by marital status, we can see that single females spent more than the typical female customer, but also our typical customer at $77. And we can see that um, single males are the least profitable of our customers. So lastly, let's go here. Let's... um drop in type of customer to so this will give us our promotional stuff and once again we'll switch this to accounting so if i sit here and i investigate things with these three different demographics we can see that hey the single female that is a regular customer that's not using the coupons tended to spend more and a close second would be married women with a coupon and if we look down through there, are married men and single men that both don't have a coupon had the least amount of money. So these are the kind of things that we're looking for when we do a, a drill down analysis into the data. Now, our second question was asking, hey, what's the relationship between age and net sales? And we've only got three ways that we can really do that. We can do a regression analysis. We can do a correlation analysis, we can look at a scatter plot. So why don't we do the third one there? Let's look at a scatter plot, and I am going to do it in Tableau. We could do it in Excel, but let's uh, let's move over to the programs a little bit. And so once I'm in here, I want to go to my data source and Microsoft Excel file, and we want to go to this data example 7.1. Okay, so we have two sheets on here. I want to bring the data in because the prompt is just the words and let's go right to a worksheet and so I do want to look at the relationship between age I'm gonna hold control net sales show me scatter plot all right so we can see right off the bat that uh, for 4,308 years we have net sales of seven thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars well obviously that's not what we're looking for. Everything's aggregated together, so that's why I've only got one data point. So we'll sit here, analysis. Um, hmm. Sorry, my screen capture software is messed because the analysis is right up where the screen capture stuff is. We're going to turn off aggregate measures, and I'll fill this back in the screen. Okay, and so now we can see 
how data and age all get put together. Um, actually, quickly, if we want to right click on this, we are going to, actually, we're not going to edit the axis. That's net sales. We're going to come up here and we're going to go format. And that is in the axis. So we want to take the scale, change it from numbers to custom currency. And we don't need the decimal places. So there we go. So by looking at the, just by looking at it, we should be able to go, hey, look, there, there really is no relationship. It's all over the place. But we can also right click on it and go trend lines, show trend line. And now we have our trend line in there. And we can see the trend line's pretty flat, which means there's no relationship between the age and the net sales. And you can look at that R squared value, 0 0.0001131. If we took the square root of that, we get around 0.0, I think it's 0 0.001. So a very small correlation, which means that really the data is not correlated. Stuff like this is important because if you were working in the industry and somebody came up and said, hey, we are going to run, we're going to dump all of our marketing campaign money into targeting you know, females from 20 to 25, you could sit there and go, you know, uh, I don't think it really matters. The age doesn't, you know, it's great that we're marketing to them, but we're ignoring everybody else. And the data doesn't show that there really is a difference in the age there. So that's the kind of things that we'd be looking for or at least thinking about when we have data like this and we're like, okay, hey, is this stuff related? All right, so with that, we'll end this short video. Um, in the next video, we're going to look at this, but just in a slightly different way.